in this video we will be building this model right here here's a few pictures of it it's like Dalton 720 four by four it's, there's only 50 parts in this model kit but it's actually a really fun build really simple though We look around the box. Here's the body. It's actually really good lines on this body. Deep lines. Here I like how the fender flares come past the body. So I send them evenly with the body I'm just cleaning up a little bit of um, excess flashing and stuff like that there's like really not none but there's some imperfections on the bottom side of this body besides that it's molded perfectly Here I'm just sanding the body, getting it ready to carve it for paint. I'm just sanding it with 600 grit. For some reason, um, I lost a lot of my footage. So I didn't show me spray, um, spraying this. I painted it red. It was like the color I wanted. And then after I painted it, I didn't want it no more. So I wanted to paint this green color. So it's actually like mossy green. And like I said, I lost a lot of my footage. So here's a picture of it. Here's a color of it. Turned out good. And I'm gonna do the building the engine. This engine has really no detail. It has some detail, but not not really detailed. Just a simple little engine. Just trying to stand up. Uh, mold lines. So there's very not much detail at all. Here's all the parts that goes on it. From all the belt drives, this is the exhaust manifold. This is the intake. The valve cover. And the alternator. And all the parts. Here I'm just um, getting the engine and stuff primed up. Add just priming up the interior parts. My airbrush setup is just a generic gun from Amazon that really has no name on it but um, it works perfectly fine for me I paint booth ain't the best setup for video and I actually lost all my uh, footage for um, painting these parts the only footage I have left is the priming part I just put a very light coat here I got this valve cover paint silver. And the rest of the other parts. Here's the engine. I painted it black. I still gotta weather it up and paint some little detail stuff in it, like the starter and um, oil filter and stuff like that, transmission.
Here's the frame. I painted it semi-gloss black. I sort of weathered up some stuff. Exhausting. Here's the body. Like I said, I lost all my bone fillers for painting these parts. I also lost all the fillers for rusting these parts as well. Here's the body. The back half of this uh, with the cab is the two pieces. It's kind of wing, but I got it in there pretty good. You probably, if you're going to make this perfectly, you have to take some kind of putty and um, put it in the crack because there is a pretty big gap where the pieces fit together. You can also see it in the bed. Here's the engine, I gotta weather it up. Like I said, I lost a lot of my footage, so this is just skipping around. Like I said, everything painted on the starter, alternator, everything weathered up. I just took a black wash after I painted everything and just went over it. Here's the frame. Put some uh, metal paint on this and it rusted. I also cut out the spare tire uh, thing. I didn't like it, how it looked. There's a front bumper and a rear bumper. It turned out good. So here's a front grill, but I saw the weather it up. There's the interior pieces. Got it all together and got it weathered up as well. Just a basic interior, nothing fancy. Just took some dust and dusted the floor like it would be dirty. I went for like a dirty look. Most of these trucks you see are not are not in pristine condition. That's why I gotta paint the outside of it. The interior pieces so it matches. I'm just gonna paint the battery and all this accessories. And the windshield wipers, I gotta paint that as well. And the radiator is molded in place. Here it is all painted up. It's not the best paint job, but it's perfectly fine for me. And I was, if I was going for a really detailed build, I would worked uh, more hard on painting it but for this build um i just went for what it was it ain't bad but it ain't good here i'm just here i'm just making a black wash just put a little black um flat black paint and add a little water simple as that i'll just use i use acrylic paint it's all i use I never use enamel it's too hard to clean and i don't like the fumes Just take a paintbrush and go over everything. And this dries and look a little bit more weathered up and dirty, grimy. Not really don't matter what, if it gets on the outside of the body and stuff because um, going for like a rusty, dirty look anyway, so this adds more character. That was going for it. A yeah, um, pristine build, I would um, take my time. See, here's what it looks like after it dries. You can go and put as many coats as you want, but this is just what I do. Every build is different for me. So you got some on the outside, but it really don't matter. There's just metal paint, iron paint, whatever, it gives it rust. I actually didn't know I was going to rust it to this point. I really liked this green collar, but then I was like, oh, might as well put some rust on it. So here's what it looks like at this point. Turned out good. Here I'm just using the salt method. I'm just taking some water and um, paint on the body. Get it good and wet. And just take some regular sea salt and dump all over it. 
You don't have to be perfect. You can just put it anywhere and everywhere. A lot of it will fall off anyway, so. And I just pat it down. My finger press down. I guess do it all over the whole uh, body. You can't go wrong doing this. Just dump it everywhere, press it down. When you airbrush it, it will um, blow a lot off anyway. This stuff is actually messy, so if you're going to do this and you haven't done it, we would do it in like a, like a plastic container or any sort of container to catch all of us all. As you can see, it gets everywhere. And I just got my airbrush, just a cheap airbrush, got off Amazon. A no name and just spray it on there. And you just take a toothbrush or your fingers after on the paint dries and just mop it off, mop the salt off of it. I really liked how this body turned out. actually is real rust on there here I'm just taking some black uh, paint and a piece of sponge and just going over um, certain just dab in certain places to give it more in-depth look and just random little particular area spread where I think it needs it and break up like the green and the rust If you apply too much, you can just uh, get another piece of sponge that's not wet and dab on it. And then it'll pull all that paint off. So I'm just randomly going over the body in different places. And I'll, when that paint dries, it'll give it a more depth look. Mix it up some. Here's all the parts laid out before I put them together. Here's a body after dry as you can see like some of the black. <laughs> also done some grass like run down from the mirrors and door handles. Here's an engine. I did put some plug wires on it. Not very good plug wires, but for this engine, perfectly fine. Here's the interior and all the parts. I got some rust on the bottom of it. Match. I don't rust where other, you can't see. Um, here's the rear end and the drive shaft. I still gotta weather this up some. I'm gonna put the engine in. This engine just snaps in by these little pins at the bottom. Two pins hold this in. Wait, this is a very simple kit, but a really fun kit. After the rust stuff, it had to drill out all these holes again. So I filled in a lot of these holes and my parts wouldn't fit. So for a lot of this, I had to take my um, X-Acto knife and make the holes bigger. Here is just the uh, covering. This is actually the rear end. I said the front differential was the rear end earlier. And a lot of people may give me flag because the gas tank is rusty. But I think back in, in the 80s, I think it was 85, I think the gas tank was metal. I think it was plastic. Even though this gas tank looks like it would be plastic. Here, it's got a nail filer, a drill, same the tires. 
get that shine off of them. I actually uh, have a video showing how to do this. I'll link it up at the top. You can use sandpaper. You can do it by hand. You don't need a drill. It just breaks the shine off of them so they don't look um, like plastic or um, toyish like. So you can see the look here. You can do it as long as you want. You get all of it off. But I'm going to put some mud on these so it ain't that big of a deal. Drag all the wheels on. Hey, paint the rounds black on just one coat, kind of like a black wash. Um, to give it that look like someone spray painted them and wore off look. Because usually people spray paint their tires on these trucks. Or rims, not tires. You're about to put the glass in. I can just use a tester parts glue. You can also use Elmer's glue. I guess I like using this. I already have it. The glass just snaps in. And I guess I go along the edge. I'm with my glue here and put a bead. It don't matter if it gets on the parts. And I guess take a toothpick, smear it, and spread it out. I'll go back with a um, wet um, cotton swab and um, clear off the parts. Uh, um, I got the glue on it. Stuff comes right off the clear parts. You're going to damage it. You're going to just fit in the interior tub. When I go on these videos, I forget everything where all these parts were called. <laughs> I'm just trying to fit the body. The body did not fit good in this. A lot of people in my uh, model groups I'm in on Facebook said that it, it didn't fit as good as neither. Like some bodies fit really good and some bodies fit not so good. The back and front kind of fit good, but the middle really sagged down. Didn't fit tight in the middle. Here I just have to um, see you can see it kind of sinking down in the middle of it. Here I got the front on. The headlights are uh, foggy right now, but my, my pound glue dries in there. It will not be white no more. So you can see how it sags down like that. I have to glue it, but but it turned out all turned out good. Really like this. I didn't worry about perfectly painting the tail lights and stuff because I'm about to put mud on it and uh, you're not really going to see very much of it anyway. Here's the end. I spread a light coat of green paint over everything to try to give like someone spray painted on the engine bay and mystic paint everywhere. Here's just some dirt. I sifted from outside. I have a video on how to make this mud. I'll link it up to the top. So I didn't show it. Here's the, what it looks like. I got all the mud on there. I got the tires mudded up. I got all the dirt on there. I do have a video on how to make this dirt and apply it. I'll link the video, like I said before, up top. You can give it a watch. But actually, it's real dirt and mud. And I really like the for sale sign. It came with the kit, though. So here's what it looks like. A little dirt in the back, a little mother. Here's the interior pieces. Looking real good. Sorry for the shakiness. Here's all you need. Everything rusted up, muddied up, and turned out good. If you like these videos, if you made it this far, thank you very much. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.